Hello again. I forgot to give you a few extra immunity system or immune system review questions, so I just have a few of them, so we'll go over them. Uh, which of the following actions are not part of adaptive immunity? So if it's asking for something that's not part of adaptive immunity, it's probably asking for one of those things, which one is part of your innate immunity? So cytotoxic T cells are produced, so if you remember, I said anything that has to do with T cells or B cells are part of your adaptive immunity. So we know those ones are cytotoxic T cells are part of adaptive immunity. Clonal selection increases the number of B cells. So B cells are part of adaptive immunity. And down here at the bottom, D, B cells secrete specific antibodies. Again, we're talking about B cells, and we know B cells and T cells are part of adaptive immunity. So the only option we have left are natural killer cells. So if you remember, they are the they um, kind of similar to cytotoxic T cells, but they actually detect a, a body cell that has been made sick by a pathogen, but it doesn't care what type of pathogen it is. So it's part of our innate immunity. So let me, oh, results shown to everyone, good. So C is correct, natural killer cells are released. So let's find our second immune system question. So the basic function of T cells is to identify and destroy invaders in what location? So you'll remember that B cells and T cells actually identify pathogens in kind of two different ways. So B cells were able to directly connect to the pathogen, whereas T cells actually had to find body cells that contained the pathogen, and then those body cells displayed that little flag on the outside um, that, sh that uh, displayed the antigen that the T cell could then connect to. So the basic function of T cells to identify and destroy invaders actually happens within body, it happens in body cells. All right, I will find our last little review question here. Oh, so my answer is already displayed here for you. So you're ill with an influenza virus, and pardon my spelling mistake, but which of the following cells would be active during your immune response? So it's actually all of the above. So yes, influenza is a specific virus, but your first line of defense would have come into play. And then once it's inside your body, your phagocytic cells would have started working, the natural killer cells. But th then once you're already sick, your adaptive immune system is working. And so that's going to be your T cells and B cells, so all of the above.